Hi, I'm Steve Ruth, Vice President of Means Propulsion Systems from Saginaw, Michigan. Means began as means stamping almost 100 years ago and provided stamped components for transmissions and steering applications. We have evolved into two main business units today, Means Propulsion Systems, which produces the mechanical diode and controllable mechanical clutches, and we have Means Transform Products, which produces highly engineered flow-formed metal stampings, also for automatic transmissions. The Means Mechanical Diode Selectable One-Way Clutch, also known as the CMD, uh, is a clutch now, is basically two clutches in one. It holds torque in first gear and reverse gear, and primarily is there to make shifting smoother. It also replaces the reverse friction pack, which is the highest spin loss component in the transmission. It improves fuel economy, reduces weight, and minimizes transmission length. We owe a lot of credit to GM for the early development as they pulled along this device in early prototype engineering samples. They determined the feasibility and, and the function, and our product engineering, application group, and the analytical group, and test labs spent their time proving durability by testing the clutch over and over again to meet GM requirements. Today, we are producing three of these controllable clutches for Honda, Ford, and GM. It is used in their new eight, nine, and 10 speed transmissions. As it ramps up to full volume, it'll be over 2.8 million assemblies per year around the world. That includes US, Mexico, Canada, Japan, Korea, and China. The last 20 years of mechanical diode development has been really fun, fast, and furious. We've developed this product on our own, and we penetrated a market that did not have this design in the past. Uh, we have gone from just a few handful of engineers to a large company, and we expect to double again in size in the next three to five years. My name is Thomas Meyer. I'm the VP of Means Transform Products, um, and we are here at our Shelby Transform facility. Uh, we manufacture parts for the eight and nine speed transmissions for Ford and General Motors here in this facility. This is the first facility we have where we actually flow form aluminum uh, for our customers. Uh, so that makes it very unique in our uh, overall spectrum of uh, processes and products. Flow form is a, a cold forming process uh, where you have a mandle in the lower portion of the machine, uh, a tailstock in the upper portion of the machine. Uh, then we load a blank or preform onto the mandle. Uh, we have three rollers on the circumference and uh, after the blank is clamped, uh, the three rollers move the material over the mandrel, create the internal shape of the part and the external shape at the same time. The other process we use uh, in, in one of our facilities is the grope process. Uh, it's also a cold metal forming process uh, and it uses two uh, rollers, 180 degrees of each other, um, and they are uh, running on an orbit motion the part itself indexes and then the orbit motion of the two rollers, opposing rollers, forms the material from the outside to the inside. Again, a mandrel on the inside and that will create uh, the clutch hub or housing. Partnering with our customers is, is very important in the product life cycle uh, and it's important for our customers as well because you know, we bring the expertise to the table to design the part utilizing our processes but design the part that it meets uh, the specifications uh, the customer needs. We, we did the initial trials uh, with aluminum flow forming in 2010, and then by the time the customer had a need for that, potentially for that process in 2013, we had some experience under our belt already, and, and we were able to bring the process and the technology to the table. I think the future is, is very bright uh, for our organization. Uh, we obviously have a lot of challenges in front of us uh, based on you know, new transmission uh, designs uh, coming uh, to the forefront uh, to uh, you know, drivetrain systems, electrification, uh, but our processes uh, allow to, to expand in that field as well. Uh, a good example would be a motor housing where we could utilize our technologies outside of the transmission world as well. We cannot even imagine what the drivetrains are going to be like 20 years from now, but we are planning for the future right now and are very excited about it.